Hello everyone, welcome to the Take Care Man channel. In this video, we're gonna do a Mother's Day shave with the Soap Commander Wisdom Shave Soap. And we're gonna follow that up with some Humphreys Rose Witch Hazel and the Lavender Sage Aftershave Splash from Sterling and the Noxzema Aftershave Balm. So before I get into the details of this shave and why I chose these particular products for Mother's Day, I want to give you a little preview of what's coming up in some future videos. The weight giveaway for the soap from First Line Shave, the weight soap and splash is still going on. I'm going to give it away in the next shave. So I'll link the link to this video below where you can go and enter that giveaway. And like I said, in the next video, I will actually give that away. And that next video will feature Spice Vitae from Holy Cow. I'm going to do that for a couple of reasons. As you know, I'm going through the Holy Cow soaps uh, as part of a series. Uh, but also my friend uh, Glenn Helley, uh, who has a channel here on YouTube, I'll link him below. Uh, he uh, is sort of puzzled by this scent and wants somebody to weigh in on what, what it smells like to them. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do that in the next shave. And in that video, I will also try out Reed's uh, Lather Whip technique. Uh, Reed, aka Lather Whipster, over at Shave Cave on YouTube, link below. I'll try that out in that video as well. Uh, after that video, we're going to move on to an artisan who sent me one of their soaps to try. Uh, asked me to try it out, and that is Ginger Gardens Citrus Ice. And so Irina sent this to me along with a splash to try. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. Then I'm going to move back to Holy Cow. This one's kind of small here to see. This is Monaco Royale. Well, if I could get it twisted right here. Monaco Royale a sample. So after the Monaco Royale shave, we're going to move on to Hendrix Classics and Company and look at their system of scenting their unscented soaps. They also have some scented soaps, but we'll be using that one next. So that's the next uh, four shave videos focused on specific shaves after this one. Now let's get into uh, this one. So I'm dedicating this shave to my mom, uh, Brenda, and I chose this soap for a couple of reasons. The primary we reason is when I looked at the different characteristics that Soap Commander, which is out of Ardmore, Alabama. I'm from Alabama originally, so this soap maker means a lot to me from coming from my home state. But I chose this because this particular characteristic, and as you may know, Soap Commander uses different types of character traits and virtues to name their soaps, and so I used Wisdom because that, to me, personifies what my mom is all about. And also like that this uses lavender and peppermint. I talked about a lot about lavender when I did the Laugh Sublime video, which I'll link here and link below for Holy Cow and the value of essential oils, uh, but also peppermint, which is another highly studied essential oil with a lot of good research behind it. And so what's cool about lavender is it sort of calms you out, chills you out, and peppermint sort of picks you up, peps you up, gives you optimism, hope. And that's, that's how I would sum up my mom, like being around my mom, getting to talk to my mom, she helps sort of calm you down, but also gives you courage, gives you encouragement, uh, gives you hope, uh, gives you a good word to sort of uh, go forward and do what you have to do, whatever challenge you might be facing. And so uh, for that, I chose the Wisdom Soap with the notes of lavender and peppermint. And this is scented with essential oils. And while we're talking about moms, I just mentioned Carrie real quick there at Soap Commander, a mom running a family business. So happy Mother's Day to you as well, Carrie. Uh, so I will talk about the other products as we get to them. So let me re-wet the face and we'll load the soap and get into the shave. I want to show you a Soap Commander t-shirt. These are actually on sale at their website for five bucks. You can get these right now. And on the back, it has their website address, uh, soapcommander.com. And they currently have these for five dollars. Now the sizes they have left, they have mediums, 3x and 4x but honestly you could take like the 3x or 4x and throw it in the dryer and shrink it. it makes a great shave shirt in my opinion i'm using the amber aerolite from paa and the reason i'm using it and it may be hard to see the colors here it's a little bit better to see there the colors of it so it's a kind of a deep red poppy red orange amberish color the reason i chose this one is because uh, my mom when we uh all had CBs in our family. So CB stands for, for you younger folks and maybe people not familiar with it, a citizen band. Uh, so it was basically radios where you could talk to each other back and forth like truck drivers do. And everyone in my family, we had uh, handles. You have nicknames. Colors remind me of my mom's CB handle nickname, 
which was uh, Ladybug. And so these colors remind me a lot of a Ladybug. So that's why I'm using this. By the way, I warmed up the Amber Airlight brush in this Frisco Lines coffee mug that my mom gifted to me. My great granddad, that would have been my mom's granddad, he worked for the Frisco Railroad. And so it's a pleasure to be able to use that. Now this is super strong off of the puck in a good way because of that peppermint. This is one of the most well blended peppermint and lavender soaps. I know the Sudsy Soapery has one, which I have a sample of, uh, and it's great as well. I'm anxious to try out a full, a full tub of it. Uh, but this is just a really pleasant mix of the lavender and the peppermint. The lavender peppermint may, be not, may not be something you think would go together, but it gives the lavender a sweetness and a freshness that sort of rounds out that earthy floral that is lavender. This is their three ounce a puck, which you can get for 10 bucks. They have a six ounce, um, some of their subs come in six ounces, which are $15, uh, which is a great value. Six ounces, you know, they're unbelievable. But certainly these 10 ounces are as well. They also have samples on their site. So I'm actually going to re-wet the face because it's dried out a little bit here with me loading and I need to take the glasses off. All right, let's go in here with the Wisdom Soap from Soap Commander. Now, I've never featured a Soap Commander soap on the channel before. And the reason I didn't is because I had a lot of samples from Soap Commander. And just smelling the samples, they weren't sort of strong enough to suit me. However, I decided recently to take out the samples I had and just build a lather with them in bowls just to see if the scent opened up, and it did. And uh, there's one in particular I want to get, which is Endurance, which I think is the one that's sort of a spice scent that I really want to get uh, pretty soon and try out. But this Wisdom Soap is right up my alley with the essential oils of lavender and peppermint, which again, these two together are probably the most researched essential oils in terms of the effects uh, on mental health and other things. And again, I talk a little bit about that in the Laugh Sublime video. Uh, which I've linked below uh, when I did the Holy Cow Life Sublime uh, soap. So just kind of seeing where we are. Still looks like it could take a little water. I'm going to go in here and put a little into the brush. starting to get where we want it. Um, something I've noticed, and you probably have noticed this too, if you have more than a couple of days growth, say three, four, or five, then when you're putting on your lather on your face, particularly if you're building a face lather, but also if you're bold lathered and applied it, it's going to look a little uh, grainy. And that's because just the uh, whiskers are showing through uh, the soap. But this soap uh, instantly, I don't think there's any added menthol, it's just a bit that uh, peppermint has sort of that natural menthol feel to it. Feels great, smells great, opens up the sinuses. This is a really, it's a really great scent. I'm glad I, that I found that Soap Commander uh, had it. So I mentioned uh, recently in two previous shaves, we used the standard uh, Mula R89 head on a razor. It's a different number. I'll link that below as well. Uh, and also the DE89 head on the Edwin Jagger DE87, I think it is. I have it list, uh, listed below as well. So we looked at the standard Edwin Jagger head, the standard, standard Mula head. This is the standard Mercur head. This would be like the 34C head, but this is a 43C razor. It's got the stainless steel handle, uh, kind of a cigar shape there handle. And I really like the weight on this razor. So this, and this is you know easily in my top three uh, favorite uh, razors. So let's get in here and get the first pass. We've got a Gillette Nasset on its first use. So my mom uh, was a school teacher and principal for about 35 years. Uh, elementary school, taught second, third, and fourth. A grade, sometimes mixed grade levels when they needed somebody to teach a half, like a half of one grade and a half of another. She would do that. And a few years ago, I got to go with my mom. She 
he was going to a, uh, a visitation, a funeral visitation, someone who had passed in the community uh, where she worked. She, she drove, um, after we moved out of the country into town, she drove, uh, I guess it was probably about a 30 minute drive or more to uh, get to work uh, every day. And so we, she didn't live, we didn't live in the community where she taught. So um, anyway, she'd been retired and been away from that community and actually had changed schools when she went to become a principal. But there we were back uh, some, I don't know, at least a, you know between, I don't know, seven years, a decade later. And something that really impressed me is being there at the funeral home, which obviously was a somber uh, occasion. I was blown away by the number of people that were coming up to my mom, genuinely thrilled to see her, happy to see her. Now, that doesn't surprise me, but the sheer number of people that came up really had an effect on me. Former students, former parents that she'd worked with, you know, of students, uh, colleagues, people she just met in the community, and people genuinely glad to see her. And if you know my mom, that's the kind of effect she's going to have on you. She's going to be glad to see her because she is an encourager. Uh, she uh, perseveres. Uh, she is uh, tough. Uh, she is uh, resilient. As I said earlier, she's wise. Uh, she, she's uh, absolutely amazing. All right, so that's the first pass. Let's get in here to our get in here to our second pass. So my mom actually started teaching the year before I was born, and she basically retired the year that my daughter was born. So that's kind of cool in the sense that um, sort of I'm, it's easy for me to sort of remember the number of years she taught uh, based on that. Yeah, I really love this scent, this lavender and peppermint. One of the things that my mom has done as a parent, uh, both, you know, to me when I was, you know, younger and before, you know, before I became an adult and even now as an adult, my mom is real big on uh, letting you make your own your own decisions. Now, obviously, if you're about to do something just absolutely catastrophic, she, I'm sure she would step in and, or at least make her opinion be known much, uh, you know, larger. But she really let you sort of express your own autonomy. Let's go uh, across the grain this way. This is where I have to stretch a little bit on this jawline. But sometimes I would get frustrated with her because I wanted her just to tell me what to do. But she was really big on helping us to sort of exercise our judgment, how to get all the information about a situation, think it through, which if you think about it is a really, really important skill for anybody to have. I feel like I nicked myself there when I tried to do that without the stretch. Not too bad of a nick, though. May jinx it, but I think it'll probably just close up with our regular post-shave routine without any alarm or styptic. As I said, I really like the um, Mercur 43C. It has the 34C head. I find it's... Um, really easy to use and of my non-adjustable razors and in, in adjustable I'm including things like the Rockwell 6S which has different plates for adjustment this would be my favorite non-adjustable razor that I have and the only time will tell it may be kind of my favorite razor one of these days Right now, I currently favor the Rockwell 6S a little more than this one. But if that standard Mula R89 head, Edwin Jagger DE87 head, 
and then the Mercur 34C head. I much prefer the Mercur uh, 34C head. And I think that's probably just an individual preference thing. But it gives me, consistently gives me great, uh, great shaves. All right, that's our second pass. Let's get in here to uh, our third pass. Still got some proto lather all around this tub, so I'm trying to get that off of there. It's, uh, it's actually a little more than proto lather. It's kind of actual lather because it uh, built pretty well there in the within the thing. Got it all over my hands as usual. This Amber Airlight brush from PAA is uh, very nice. Let's see, they came out with the maybe I think it's called maybe the Aqua Airlight, which is a 26 millimeter. This is a 24 millimeter, and it just comes in a different coloration. I'll link that new brush below. But I really like. Uh, I don't know if how well you can see, but there's these geometric. Like, you know, there's these grooves. You can see that that's flat there. I guess it's a, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an octagonal shape, uh, both on the handle uh, end uh, and then up here around the collar, I guess you would say. And so it makes for good places to uh, grip when uh, lathering or applying the lather. All right. Dry off the hands here a little bit. And let's get in here for third pass uh, against the grain. So I'm filming this on Mother's Day, but probably won't get it out to the day after. So happy belated Mother's Day to everyone out there. Also say a particular Mother's Day, uh, get well wishes to my stepmom who is currently in the hospital. And of course to my wife who's an amazing mother to our daughter and to the children that she is responsible for in her third grade classroom. And a little nuke down here. Between the last shave you saw, which was the weight from First Line Shave, and this one, I did a shave off camera with uh, the uh, Saponificio Veracino Cubebe. I think that's the name of it. Uh, so I got to try that soap out. I'll use a, do that in a future video. Um, Trying to decide whether I want to do a fool's pass with a D or not. I guess we are. Probably don't really need it. All right, let's start a check here and see where we are after three passes. Yeah, the thing about you compare the the sort of that Mula R89 head D87 and Mula 34C type head, I just get better shaves, closer shaves with those just sort of three or even two and a half traditional passes uh, as compared to the uh, other two. So I don't think we're even going to need a pickup, but because this is, we're using these essential oils, let's gently squeeze the remaining lather out of here, apply it to our face. Also want to say a happy Mother's Day to my sister, Melody, and to my sister-in-law, Jane. I encourage you to go over and check out Soap Commander's website. I'm not uh, an affiliate with them or anything, or, and I, I pay for these products uh, out of my own pocket. And uh, they didn't reach out to me or anything. I'm just uh, telling you about how much I love 
this has performed really, really well. It's very slick, but the, you know, what's really drawn me to it is that lavender peppermint essential oil blend. It is really well blended. I was noticing, I, I don't own a tallow and steel soap, but I was noticing, I was looking at the, I think it was the Borealis or Boreal or something like that. I noticed on theirs that they put the mixture of essential oils and fragrance oils in terms of the percentages, like how much of a percentage that oil or scent plays a role. I'm not sure if it's the actual volume of the oil or how much they think the scent plays a role. I have to read more about that. That's the first time I've seen that. I really like that from an artist and giving you sort of percentages of the fragrances uh, that are in there. So in applying that, I really didn't see much where else will hit our usual suspect areas just to go the extra mile here and see what we have. And I'll go kind of back here under the sideburn as I have to do from time to time. You can hear there's a little feedback there. But I think that's enough. I think we need to just uh, wash, wash, there's my Alabama coming through again, uh, wash the rest of this off and we'll come back for the post shave. Oh, the face feels great. Have that nice gentle tingle from the peppermint, very gentle, but it's opening you up, making you feeling refreshed, but you also get that lavender, which is sort of chilling you out. So it's sort of a chilled out vibe, but ready to face the day. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool effect of those two essential oils. Okay, so I'm going to start out on a post shave with uh, Humphrey's Rose Witch Hazel. Why? Because it's Mother's Day, right? Uh, when I think Mother's Day, I think about roses. Okay, so nice tightening, astringent feel from that Witch Hazel. Now we're going to get into the Lavender Sage aftershave splash from Sterling. This is one of their Black Friday smaller aftershaves you could get for $8. Uh, it's a scented with essential oils and I chose it not just because of the matching lavender but also because my mom is from Arkansas. She was born in Arkansas and lived a lot of her childhood in Arkansas. So this is a product as you know out of Arkansas with Sterling. Sage gives that lavender a nice pepperiness so it makes it a little sharper and I can tell you, it is, a, it is a good match with this lavender peppermint. So the peppermint and sage and lavender all together, that's an excellent combination. I am really digging that. That's, that's really, really nice. Just thinking about being a kid, my mom telling me I like to go wash my face at night or whatever. It makes me think about, we always had Noxzema under the sink, you know, and the big tubs I actually have some down here. It makes a great pre-shave. So I'm going to use the Noxzema post-shave balm. Uh, many of you may not have seen this. I think the only place I've seen, I've actually seen it a couple places, but one place I know is at italianbarber.com. I'll link it below and also see if it's available uh, anywhere else and put that link. But it's a great uh, unscented uh, post shave balm. I really like the way uh, it makes your face feel. And I'm going to drop uh, a little bit of that lavender sage in there. I like to thin my balms a little bit with aftershave splash. And by the way, uh, Soap Commander has this um, wisdom soap uh, scent in their balm and their aftershave splash as well also as a bath soap oh yeah that's a oh, great shave and it's about the fact i nicked myself a couple places those closed up with the uh, post shave but yeah my face feels great that scent's amazing that that sage gives it a little pop a little peppery sharpness that's really, really good. That's a great shave. I enjoyed that. So again, uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. Thanks for all you've done for me and are continuing to do for me and for all the lives of my sister, my brother, and all the kids that you've taught through the years and your granddaughters and your extended uh, granddaughters, grandsons, etc. And uh, so uh, just love you so much. Thanks for all you do. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I showed you those shaves are coming up. We'll get to the Spice Vitae in the next one. Try out Reed's Lather Whipster Technique. So until the next shave, take care, man.